In a world full of unique stories, few are as remarkable as that of Ronnie and Donnie Gallion, the conjoined twins who defied every odd. But while the headlines focused on their extraordinary condition, what was hidden behind the scenes will leave you speechless. A bond that medical experts couldn't explain, and a life journey that stunned the world. Yet there's more to their story than what the public saw. What shocking truth lay behind their inseparable existence? The shocking truth about their birth. Ronnie and Donnie Gallion came into the world in a way least expected. Joined at the abdomen, sharing vital organs, and leaving the medical world agog. But what if I told you that even their doctors were quite unprepared for what they found? Born on October 28, 1951 in Dayton, Ohio, it was a case which sent shockwaves through the medical fraternity upon the arrival of the twins. Conjoined twins were nothing new for doctors, but the bond between Ronnie and Donnie was something quite different. By the way their bodies were so intricately joined together, onlookers wondered, is this a one-in-a-million medical marvel? or a freak tragic accident of nature? Their parents, Wesley and Eileen Gallion, faced an unimaginable decision, one no mother and father should ever have to make. Should they risk separating the twins, a surgery then that was almost always fatal? Or as their boys grew up conjoined, should they let them mature into a world that wasn't prepared for them? It was one of those wrenching choices that would define not only the twins' lives, but the lives of everyone around them. But here's where things get even more mind-blowing. What the doctors didn't reveal at the time was just how close the twins came to not surviving their first few weeks. From newborns, they experienced a number of complications that meant the medical team had to rack their brains for solutions. Behind the smiles and optimism of the family hid a deep fear they may lose the babies before they even get a chance at life. Yet against every single stack of odds, Ronnie and Donnie pulled through together as they would remain for the rest of their lives. It wasn't just their physical connection, but their will to survive was not even close to what could be predicted. And it wasn't long before word of their remarkable story reached the media. Almost overnight, the twins became a national sensation. But what most people didn't realize was the fact that the family named Galleon had to confront long-term implications of bringing up conjoined twins. The emotional toll behind the scene that their parents had to pay was staggering. Every decision had consequences, medical bills were piling up, and the everyday care for two boys who could never be apart was overwhelming. Now put yourself in Wesley and Eileen's shoes. One moment. They had been an ordinary family expecting an addition, and the other, they were leading a life under the spotlight that they weren't prepared to handle. Little did they know the choices they made in those tender years would grow into problems no one could anticipate. Little did they realize this was just the beginning of a journey that would test every limit. Medicine, family, most of all, love. But here's the kicker. What no one knew then was that this was only just the beginning of an unimaginable journey, in twists and turns filled with medical marvels, public scrutiny, and personal hardships that no one could have predicted, even by the experts. Keep watching, for what came next would change the lives of Ronnie and Donnie and the world's understanding of conjoined twins forever. What you didn't know about their childhood struggles. Though it is a story of perseverance, hardly did Ronnie and Donnie's childhood have the makings of a fairy tale. If the world oohed and awed over their physical connection with each other, very few knew how much emotional and physical strife they were having to go through every single day. Can you imagine being stared at wherever you went or never having a single moment of privacy? Many considered them a medical curiosity, but for the twins, they were just life-life with struggles most of us could hardly comprehend. Let's peel back the curtain and expose some of the heart-wrenching realities of their childhood years. They did not only face daily, intimate struggles with their peculiar anatomy, they had to face the mean-spiritedness of the world that couldn't understand them. Bullying? That's putting it light. School was all but impossible. Instead of classmates, they were met with ridicule and isolation. Children, not knowing any better, 
would then make fun of them and tease them incessantly. Can you imagine trying to focus on your schoolwork with people treating you like an outcast at all times? It wasn't very long before their parents pulled them out of school altogether, shielding them from the hurt while also sheltering them from the very normalcy they so desperately craved. But the real challenge wasn't the staring or the cruel words. It was their health. In conjoined twins, every minor medical issue has the potential to blow up into a life-threatening complication. A cold in one twin could lead to severe complications for his brother. Since so much anatomy was shared, every health scare had the potential to spiral into an emergency with doctors racing for solutions. Doctors then had little or no experience in dealing with conjoined twins so closely fused. The complexities of their interior organs, especially their digestive system, created lifelong problems. And here's the best part. You probably didn't know that Ronnie and Donnie were never actually supposed to live past their teenage years. Doctors always told their family that their bodies simply wouldn't withstand the pressures of adulthood. Yet somehow, they did. How? That's the mystery that even science can't explain. Equally complicated was their life at home. Physically attached, they couldn't do the things most kids took for granted. Running around, playing sports, riding a bike, none of that was an option. Their bodies just couldn't take it. Still, they did their own projects to keep themselves busy and entertained. They enjoyed reading, playing board games, and believe it or not, took a great liking to television, perhaps a glimpse of things to come. Yet everyday life was such a balancing act figuratively and literally. Every action, every decision had to be agreed upon by the two. Can you imagine never having one moment to yourself? The things that most people do not realize are that even the simplest things, those things which we do, thinking absolutely nothing of it, were monumental challenges to Ronnie and Donnie. Dressing up in the morning, something as simple as that, took so much coordination and patience to do. They had to learn how to move together in perfect harmony, and despite all these constant struggles, they just kept going. The real question seems to be, how did these people survive, not just physically but emotionally, through a childhood so intent on breaking their spirits? the real reason they became famous. As Ronnie and Donnie came of age, their story received worldwide attention, but seldom was this for any good reason. Most believe fame came to the twins because of their connected sibling bond, though there is so much more beneath the surface. In the mid-20th century, medical marvels such as conjoined twins were often treated as little more than sideshow attractions, not as human beings with thoughts, feelings, and private struggles. Unfortunately, this was the exploitation in which Ronnie and Donnie found themselves. What most people aren't aware of is how deeply this so-called fame changed their lives, and not always for the better. Starting their lives in the public eye, the twins made various appearances at state fairs and exhibitions that were more like a circus. Yes, fairs. While the intentions of the family might have been to make ends meet, there were, in fact, questions regarding ethics about how two young boys were put out for the masses. From the outside looking in, life sounded very glamorous, perfectly adventurous and chock full of attention. But what the media didn't show was the heavy price Ronnie and Donnie paid. Behind that ocean of flashing lights and smiling faces, there was a very different reality, actual darkness. Can you count living with literally thousands of eyes on your every move? That was their everyday reality. What people didn't realize, though, was just how emotionally draining it was to be famous. At the same time, when the public saw two brothers inseparable and smiling in front of the cameras, they struggled behind curtains with being in the public eye. The media had a way of portraying them as the world's longest living conjoined twins, but they were much more than just one medical anomalous case. They were two boys, then two men, in search of an ordinary life, the freedom simply to be themselves. That day would never come. It wasn't helped by the fact that through all this, the media sugarcoated the twins' challenges. Yes, the headlines carried their uniqueness,
but it left out the deeper, more human elements of their story. The pain, the sacrifices, the emotional toll, all of that was swept under the rug. Okay, so they had been famous, but was it worth the cost? One question had plagued the ethical mind of their family for years. Was it right to expose their sons, even if that were the only way of supporting them? And here's something that the cameras never showed the real toll fame took on their mental health. Ronnie and Donnie's whole lives were lived within the gaze of the public eye. Every move they did was scrutinized, every interview framed to highlight their otherness. It was a life that would have crushed any other person, yet somehow they kept going. But here is the kicker. Though they lived center stage for many decades, their lives outside of the flashbulbs were unraveling in ways no one could have imagined. What actually took place when the cameras stopped rolling? How did the twins deal with that side of being both celebrities and wonders of medicine? Well, stay tuned, because what happened off camera just might shock you. The fight for their lives you didn't see coming. Ronnie and Donnie lived a life that was never easy, though few people knew how many medical miracles and disasters occurred behind closed doors. While the public fascination dealt with their incredible connection to each other, it presented unimaginable challenges to the medical world. Every breath, every heartbeat, and every minor illness for one twin was experienced by the other. Yet, what it didn't know was how many near-death experiences these brothers went through and the kinds of terrifying decisions doctors had to make to keep them alive. You wouldn't believe just how close they actually were to being separated forever. Well, let's start with their anatomy. Unlike most conjoined twins, joined by a single organ or part of the body, Ronnie and Donnie shared an unusually complex network of organs, most notably their digestive system. Their gastrointestinal tracts were intertwined, making even the routine bodily functions an elaborate and sometimes dangerous process. Doctors could only speculate how much strain this system would endure as they grew older. Minor ailments such as indigestion or stomach cramps when they were young could turn into life-threatening events in a jiffy. This was only the beginning. Early in their lives, numerous surgeries were conducted on the twins to enable them to be more independent. Surgeries were often experimental. The doctors were literally treading on virgin grounds in the field of medicine. Every surgery was like a gamble, where the stakes could not be higher. Would one twin's body reject what was so beneficial to the other? What no one foresaw was how in one of these surgeries, one decision almost took a complete turn. A very risky intestinal blockage clearing procedure brought the medical team at the crossroads of their lives. Treat them as one patient or try to separate the twins completely. It's a choice nobody was prepared to make, but to separate the twins would have been the ultimate gamble give one of them perhaps a better shot at life, but at a terrible cost to the other. And the truth is, doctors were split on the idea literally and figuratively. One faction believed they should keep trying to treat them as they had always done, together, as a unit. The other group insisted that fully separating them, though it had never been done with twins so interrelated, was the only way to ensure that even one of them could survive long term. The emotional impact was inconceivable on the family. Can you imagine having to make that type of decision about your kids, knowing one may not make it? However, what really caught everyone off guard was the fact that, despite the overwhelming pressure from the medical fraternity, Ronnie and Donnie's parents would not budge on separating their sons. What happened next could not have been perceived by anyone. Just when doctors thought that situation had reached its limit, their bodies started recovering almost miraculously. That's right, against all odds, they did bounce back proving once more that they were fighters. Of course, the media did not cover that part of their story in full detail. Why? Because it did not fit the tragic figure's medical marvel story about conjoined twins. The real story, in resilience, hope, and fighting for staying together, was one too profound for headlines. But even as they overcame this battle, other challenges awaited them. Their life was about the balancing game between surviving 
and facing the cruel medical reality that was hardly to be evaded. Every illness, every surgery, every procedure hung with a question mark whether this would be it, which would tear them asunder. And yet, time and again, they defied the odds. But as shall be shown in due course, there was one further battle lying in wait for them, something that neither Ronnie nor Donnie could conceivably have foreseen. The Silent Struggles of Aging As Ronnie and Donnie grew older, the stresses of their singular existence began to take their toll on them, both physically and mentally. Undeniably, their childhood and early adulthood were afflicted by medical problems almost beyond imagination, but it was to be aging that proved the most difficult to overcome of all. Most people do not understand that the body of a conjoined twin is not designed to age like yours or mine. Their anatomy, once so uniquely binding, now was an obstacle. The media, in their effort to sensationalize their fame, didn't give out the sad detail of how hard it was for the twins to cope as years mounted. As the twins reached their fifties, their health started to break down, which was expected but not a reality any of the brothers were prepared to face. The major problem became one of mobility. What once had been a well-thought-out balancing act between the two brothers in daily life now had become grueling and exhausting. Being slightly stronger than Donnie, Ronnie started to develop severe problems with his joints, making it almost impossible for him to walk. This made him even more helpless, since the struggles of his brother then handicapped himself in mobility. Can you fathom the physical connection you have with another human being when standing up requires a team effort? That wasn't even the worst of it, though. As their health started to go down, a load of new medical issues kicked the twins around. Problems that doctors had never seen in conjoined twins before. Their bodies, which had cooperated so well for decades, started rejecting the shared systems that had once kept them alive. Internal organs began to fail, and the twins' health spiraled downward at a very fast clip. Where once the doctors had been their saviors, they were now at their wit's end about how to treat them. One physician reportedly said, it's like watching two lives slip away in unison. Obviously, nobody had expected just how entwined their fates had become. Emotionally, too, Ronnie and Donnie were struggling to come to terms with their bodies giving out on them. All their lives, they had been fighting the odds, fighting every medical prediction. Now, it seemed as though time had at last caught up with them. Yet for all their years of leaning on each other for strength, the first hairline cracks were starting to appear in their defenses. Of course, there were deep sadness and frustration, those moments when even the closest of brothers couldn't keep each other going. Still, they never gave up. How could they? They spent their whole life doing what could never be done, and thus now they would face this new chapter, no matter what that cost them. And yet, it is now at the point when finally it would appear they have passed the worst of it, that a devastating twist emerges. A medical complication, of which neither brother saw coming, would soon push them to the edge. What was it? And how was it to change everything? The shocking revelation after their death. Ronnie and Donnie Galleon lived a life that defied the odds at every turn, and in their final moments, they still managed to surprise the world once more. On the 4th of July, 2020, the inseparable brothers, aged 68 years, passed away, setting them up to be the longest-living conjoined twins in history. But their passing was more than just the emotional culmination of that great journey. It was, in fact, a signal for a shocking revelation nobody had expected. Their death had cracked that Pandora's box of medical mysteries and personal secrets that left the world speechless. What very few people knew was the fact that their final days were full of physical pain, intermingled with reconciliation on an emotional level. In the last few months before their death, their health had deteriorated rapidly, and their bodies, in such a complicated fashion connected for almost seven decades, started letting them down in certain ways nobody had expected. The doctors attending on them since their childhood were amazed by the complexity of the medical conditions leading to their death. 
The public never knew the extent of their struggles during their last days. But if that's not weird enough, here is where it gets even weirder. Some surprising medical fact that wasn't fully understood in their lifetime was revealed by doctors following the death. Ronnie and Donnie had a much more complicated shared anatomy than anyone had realized. While large organs were shared by them, the autopsy showed that their compensatory mechanisms had allowed them to live as long as they did. In other words, their bodies had adapted to their rare condition in ways which even experienced medical professionals were baffled by. Their resilience was not just emotional, it was deeply physiological. And there's more. It was the personal revelations that brought new images to the public regarding their private lives, one in sharp contrast to that which they had built. Behind the scenes, Ronnie and Donnie were something more than conjoined twins, deeply spiritual and with a close-knit community of friends and caregivers who saw them through hard battles. It is said that, in their final moments, they were surrounded by loved ones holding their hands to take their last breaths, together, as they had lived. Yet, even with their passing, questions persist. How did their bodies defy such medical expectations for so long? Would this case lead to breakthroughs in understanding conjoined twins and the limits of human endurance? Maybe most poignantly, was there something more, something we don't know, that allowed them to live as long as they did? As in life, so in death, Ronnie and Donnie left us pondering the extraordinary nature of their existence. Their dying became one particular sad moment that underlined the amazing enigma of their lives. Even now, their story raises more questions than responses. Ronnie and Donnie's journey may have ended, but their legacy continues to spark curiosity and inspire the world. Their resilience, their bond, and their unwavering spirit remind us that life is filled with surprises, some that defy explanation. But the biggest question still remains. Could their story change the way we see life, death, and the very nature of human connection forever? One thing's for sure, Ronnie and Donnie's legacy is far from over. 